Arizona Senator Jeff Flake has spent a lot of effort to present himself as the Republican resistance to Donald Trump. He gave a rousing speech on the Senate floor in October, calling out Trump's, quote, reckless, outrageous, and undignified behavior. He wrote a book, Conscience of a Conservative, which laments his party's complicity in the rise of Trump. And he tweeted a picture of a check for $100 made out to the campaign of Democratic Alabama Senate candidate Doug Jones with the caption, Party Over Country. That's how Senator Flake. Uh, that's how Senator Flake portrays himself in the public eye. And according to 538, Flake has voted in line with Trump's position 90 percent of the time, like he did last week on a big corporate tax cut. He was confronted about that vote yesterday on a flight to Phoenix by activist A.D. Barkin, who suffers from ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease. I'm 33. I have an 18-month-old son, and out of nowhere, I was diagnosed with ALS which, you know, has a life expectancy of three to four years, no treatment, no, no cure. I probably will need to go on a ventilator to live. But this tax bill is probably going to force $400 billion in automatic pay-go cuts. What should I tell my son, or what should you tell my son, if, they, if you pass this bill and he cuts funding for disability and I can't get a ventilator? After their exchange, Flake tweeted, quote, I enjoyed the conversation, AD. We won't always agree, but I admire your courage and knowledgeable advocacy. To which Barkin responded, your words have been potent all year. Back them up with your votes. This is your moment. Be America's hero. A sentiment backed up on a giant sign on top of the Arizona Democratic Party in Phoenix right now. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.